I am the inaugural Poet Laureate for Flint, Michigan, and I will be reading my poem, Black Dandelion. Age four, witness my first mow down. Twinkling ground stars cut by murderous lawnmower, feeling the blade. I curl like a snail in grief. Twelve full moons folded into spring. Perennial promises prevailed. Bees, bees celebrated return of the dandelion. In a skirt of twirling yellow bliss, flowering bouffant mirrored my spiky little afro. Jagged edge, lion's tooth leaves, pay tribute to my snaggertooth smile. Me and my freedom fighting flowers frolicked to survive the scissoring, updigging, poisoning. Warning signs hovered like low hanging clouds. No blooming allowed. Blossoms will be prosecuted. These brave little plants grew just for me. Grew in spite of a society that favored a monochromatic landscape. 1965. Mr. Brother Malcolm X was assassinated. Big word for a pre-kindergartner. I was convinced he must have been a dandelion. Reverend King, too, and the Johnson boy who lived one turn down the street that way. The Johnson boy was shocked by the police for growing in a monochromatic landscape. Training wheels off. Bike riding across insecure cement. I pedaled the bumpy path, waving solidarity to each surviving sunburst noggin, each fulfilling the promise to ornament lawns and flourish souls with lemon drop hope. Dandelions bear art of endurance and escape. Transforming into pearl puffs, floating with ephemeral intention, carrying the spirit of the weed. Thirteen full moons faded to July. I am a proud weed. Yes. I declared that shocking proclamation standing in the pulpit on Youth Sunday, Vernon Chapel AME Church. I added to my speech on David and Goliath my impromptu improvisation of dandelion dogma. We are black dandelions, I said, who will never be destroyed. We grow the power of goodness for generations into the future. I yet remember. <laughs> I yet remember the hat-framed faces of the pious, the amused, and and the mortified. Thank you.